I didn't know I had a lawyer. I didn't know my bail had been granted. None of my family members or even my husband checked up on me. My parents never checked up on me. I was completely forgotten. I didn't know I would spend 20 years in jail because of an unpaid bail worth $180. Just one eighty. The only person who never forgot about me was my son, Kanhaiya. My mother has suffered a lot of pain and faced a lot of difficult days with and without me to support her. Since he was born in jail, we named him Kanhaiya, after the god Krishna Kanhaiya, who was also born in the prison. When he was little, I showed his hand to someone and I was told, this son would be the one who would take care of me. My parents were farmers. My dad didn't send any one of us to school. It was quite far from our village. My father selected a boy for me and married me off when I was 20. After getting married, we started living in my in-laws house. I would go to the shops to buy food and take care of my household, my children. We used to live happily together. We used to be happy. I had inherited $6,000 from my family. After finding out about my inheritance, my father-in-law's intentions towards our family immediately changed. One day, as I was coming home from the fields, a family member's son was killed. When I returned home, my father-in-law and his family called me out by the village dumpsters where the body was found and then accused me of murder. It was all a conspiracy to get me locked up in jail. My father-in-law bribed the police to make sure I wasn't released. I was framed for the murder of a child. I did not have a lawyer. I was never told about my bail or what had happened in court. All I knew was that I was sentenced to life imprisonment and would never get out. Kanhaiya was born four months later. The kids in the prison would play with Kanhaiya and take care of him since he was so young. When he was one and a half months old, he would stay in the nursery. For work, we used to cut grass and take care of the gardens. About 60 to 65 inmates used to live in this cell. All of our kids also lived with us. One time, Kanhaiya stole two bananas and one of the women beat him very badly. At that point, I knew I had to get him out. I remember when I was four years old, my mother sent me away from jail to Shishu Sadan, where I stayed for multiple years. I hated it there in the beginning because my mother wasn't there with me. But as all kids do at that age, I got used to it. When I came to the home for the 10 to 18 year olds, I would write letters to my mother and one of the officials would send the letter. It made me very happy when I used to receive those. He would write me letters saying, Mommy, don't cry. Eat well and please call me on festivals. I am in another home now. I had thought then, as I was writing my letters, that I would one day get my mother released from prison. But I wasn't sure 
whether I would be able to do it. The lawyer had asked me to tell the judge about my story, so we went to court. I went in front of the judge and I started to cry. The judge asked me why I didn't get my mother released earlier. I told him I was born in prison. How could I get her released not knowing anything? I was very happy when I got out of the courtroom and realized that my mother was going to be released that day. I was so excited. I'm happy to be out of prison now. My son is with me, so I feel good. When I was in prison, my first-born son died. My daughter got married off to a stranger I never met. And almost all my relatives, including my father, died. I like it outside. My son is earning. He takes care of me. I also earn. I work as a laborer now, and I cook. The only thing I want now is for my son to get settled. We only used to meet on festivals. Now it is better. We are together. We are happy. Again. 